Last year, the James Webb Space Telescope launch was highly anticipated. Now that the world's most advanced and expensive observatory is operational, the JWST might upend astronomy with one curious finding. The latest JWST photographs disprove the Big Bang Theory, upsetting the scientific community greatly. What do the latest JWST pics show? And how do these visuals invalidate the Big Bang? Did we have it wrong all along? Stay tuned and explore how the James Webb Space Telescope nullified the Big Bang Theory. First, let's look at the launch of the James Webb Telescope to space. How much money would you have to spend on a telescope to acquire it? The James Webb Space Telescope surpassed this. The telescope's creation ate up millions of man-hours spread out over decades. At the cost of $10 billion, no other telescope comes close. In addition to being a technical nightmare, creating the JWST to suit the launch rocket was a significant challenge. Since no rocket could hold it, engineers created a design that could be folded in several ways. During transport to its final resting place, a massive heat shield had to be unfurled from its folded state. That wasn't even the most precarious element of the telescope. Even the showpiece, a reflecting mirror, had to be disassembled into 18 parts before it could be folded. A lot could go wrong, so the engineers and scientists who worked on it held their breath during the launch. The fact that the JWST is unfixable just added to their concerns. It would be impossible to dispatch a maintenance crew to the telescope because of its remote location, approximately a million miles distant. Without a way to refill in case of an emergency, the mission will stop as soon as the gasoline is gone. However, the risks associated with the JWST are well worth taking because of the possible rewards. Next, James Webb's telescope findings versus the Big Bang Theory. It has the potential to increase our understanding of the cosmos beyond in a way that no other scientific tool has. Since the telescope's official launch, researchers worldwide have been waiting in line to use its powerful optics to examine the cosmos. But nobody was ready for one of the telescope's first unpleasant revelations. After only a few short weeks of operation, the JWST has already returned images that disprove the Big Bang Theory. In astronomy, the Big Bang is treated as sacred scripture. Many people today use the Big Bang to explain explain the beginning of the universe, primarily due to the success of the TV series, The Big Bang Theory. George Lementra, a priest turned astronomer, is often credited as the first to propose the Big Bang Theory. One of his big ideas was that the cosmos was a singularity in the distant past. He explained that the cosmos had to expand and stretch to reach its current size and that this process may continue indefinitely. Edwin Hubble, a well-known astronomer, got some space telescopes named after him when construction on Lemaitre's design began a few years later. Hubble found that distant galaxies were receding faster than closer ones. This, according to the astronomer, confirmed Lemaitre's theory that the universe was continuing to expand. If things are reducing in space, they are probably much closer together in the distant past. When the universe first formed, light and energy were supposedly mingled with hot small particles or banks. However, temperatures lowered as everything grew and occupied more room. Moving on, more specifics on the Big Bang Theory. Eventually, the microscopic particles came together to create atoms. Then those atoms clustered and, over eons, those clumps of atoms fused to form the stars and galaxies you see today. A chain reaction of star birth ensued as the larger atoms and groupings of particles produced by the first stars eventually gave rise to new generations of stars. Galaxies were colliding and merging in a spectacular display of cosmic chaos. Asteroids, comets, planets and even black holes formed as new stars were born and died. This entire process took place over the course of around 14 billion years. And yet, what if the Big Bang never occurred? The JWST is unrepentant about its most recent series of images, even though many scientists would not even consider this possibility, because the hypothesis has formed the bedrock of contemporary astronomy. The public may be captivated by JWST's breathtaking photographs, but scientists are still trying to reconcile them with the Big Bang theory. Unfortunately, the images indicate a large number of remarkably smooth, tiny and ancient galaxies. But why do faint, minute and old galaxies disprove the Big Bang Theory? Let's look at it from a too narrow perspective. An unusual optical illusion must be present if the cosmos is indeed expanding. Realistically, the apparent size of galaxies and other naturally occurring space objects do not decrease monotonically with distance. True, they ought to begin appreciably swelling in size at a certain threshold. If you're wondering why, it's because they should have lost their glow when they came nearer to Earth. Following that, let's review the images taken by the James Webb Telescope. 
Non-expanding space, in contrast, has the effect of making distant objects appear smaller. No matter how hard they try, scientists who have examined JWST's photographs cannot deny that they depict fainter galaxies. Similar photos taken with the Hubble Space Telescope show that even galaxies with greater luminosity and mass than the Milky Way appear two to three times smaller. Redshifts for the new galaxies are, on average, two to three times larger. This is not the predicted behavior of an expanding cosmos. The JWST images show galaxies around the same size as ours. Redshift should be proportionate to distance if the cosmos is not growing. However, the Big Bang theory suggests that these distant galaxies are naturally tiny, which is needed to account for the proposed optical illusion. The Gigahertz 2 galaxy is a brighter example than our own Milky Way. However, it is 300 light years in diameter only about 1 15th as large as our Milky Way. It would be 600 times brighter per unit area than the most luminous galaxy nearby. The density of such a galaxy would be many orders of magnitude higher than that of the galaxies we see now. What about the fact that galaxies don't have bumps? What does this mean for the Big Bang Theory? Next up is the merging of galaxies. Small, highly dense galaxies called Mighty Mouse must exist if the Big Bang Theory is to be believed. JWST has further exacerbated the situation. The hypothesis proposes that small galaxies evolve into large galaxies by colliding and merging as they expand into space. To visualize this type of merger, think of a magical miniature car that is only one centimeter long, yet as heavy as a sports utility vehicle. Imagine it gets into several accidents with other toy cars and eventually matures into a genuine SUV. Now the JWST data start to cause issues for the Big Bang theory. It's hard to believe that the automobiles and the artwork didn't at least get a few dings from hitting one another. Prominent Big Bang theorists anticipated finding galaxies with scars or seriously rough edges due to the impact they endured. However, the JWST unexpectedly found relatively smooth disks and orderly spiral shapes. They look just like modern galaxies. According to the data, the number of smooth spiral galaxies in the photos is roughly 10 times higher than what was predicted by theory. This raises doubts about the frequency with which galaxies combine. That is, the evidence presented presented here is an assault on the merger hypothesis. So what happens if there aren't many mergers between galaxies? However, merging is necessary for galaxies to reach such enormous sizes. Finally, the expanding universe theory prediction. In other words, more giant galaxies have never been small. This also suggests that the expanding universe theory's prediction of an optical illusion is false. Further, the absence of delusion precludes development. This deception may be anticipated with certainty due to the nature of the expanding universe. The two traditional parts will be examined in the following section. That's been said of too many things already. Images captured by the JWST in the infrared range are processed through various filters. As a result, astronomers can get a peek at the colorful universes that lie beyond our own. Astronomers rely on it to determine the ages of stars. Young hot stars in these galaxies appear blue whereas older, cooler ones look yellow or red. According to the Big Bang Theory, the furthest galaxies in the JWST picture seem precise as they did 400 to 500 million years after the Big Bang. Some of these galaxies, however, have been shown to have star populations older than a billion years. These galaxies disproved the Big Bang Theory because nothing could have created them before the Big Bang. A universe older than the Big Bang would be impossible to have. According to the Big Bang Theory, the more distant the JWST views, the fewer galaxies it should see. Well, that marks the end of the video today. We hope you had fun. Please remember to hit the like and subscribe button. Leave a comment in the section down below. Thanks for watching.